hated school. Enter. I hated the head teacher, Mr. Dickhead. He didn't like me much. Stand up straight, Liam, and took his shirt in. And take that dead bird out of your mouth. People who think you've got no self-respect. What did I care? Don't you know nothing actually matters? I'd simply mutter something intelligent and walk out. Dead poet society. I soon began experimenting with drugs as a superficial act of teenage rebellion. I worried for a while that I'd begun to hear voices in my head. Liam, Liam, where'd you put your PE kit? Liam, Liam, what are you gonna have for dinner? Chicken dippers. Then I thought maybe hearing voices in your head is just thinking. We all have uh, an inner monologue, conscience comprised of language. It just depends what that voice in your head is saying. If you walk down the street and a voice in your head says, oh, look at that dead bird, then you're all right, I think. But you walk down the street, the voice in your head says, eat that dead bird. That's the subtle diff. Just keep an eye on the commands you're getting. That's my only advice. I worry most of all, drug use has left me permanently depressed, permanently lazy. I have considered suicide, but only in the same way I've considered going for a jog every day for the last five or six years. I'm never going to get around to it. I haven't got the get up and go. Oh, life in the big city getting me down. It's monotonous. The same thing every day. Wake up, have a cup of tea, go back to bed for a few hours, get up again, another cup of tea, try and do some work, give up immediately, go on YouTube for four hours, have another cup of tea, have a bath, another cup of tea, another bath, and then as another evening curls itself around the shard, text one of your few remaining friends, no! That girl who became suddenly lukewarm with you at the party a few weeks ago suggests going to a restaurant, Remember, you've got no money. Go for a drink instead. Have a drink, another drink, another four drinks. End up spending more on drinking than you would have done doing something more edifying. Ultimately, get rebuffed, trudge Eeyore-like to bed. Watch an episode of The American Office you've illegally downloaded even though you don't really like it. Watch another five episodes of The American Office you've illegally downloaded because you can never sleep and the laptop has become like a nightlight now. Wake up, do it all again, repeat. Ad infinitum, repeat, ad infinitum, repeat, ad infinitum. But at the weekend, go to the awe-inspiring coast. Again! It's a dead poet's society.